It was a great day to be a Forster inside Platte Arena as both the men and women's squads saw some competitive action. Ladies first as they matched up against Purdue Calumet in what was a on and off again contest. Calumet committed 26 personal fouls which HU levied to their advantage shooting nearly 90% from the line. Miranda Palmer sporting her highlighter kicks remained perfect from the charity mark and number one in the nation while putting up 26 points. During play though the girls weren't afraid to get dirty collecting 37 rebounds as Amelia Wrecker led that battle in the trenches almost collecting a double double with nine of her own and making her 28 points look easy. An honorable mention to Kelsey Hubble who had 21 points as the ladies won 88-75 against Calumet improving to 4-1. Now for the guys. Earlier in the day they had to prove themselves worthy against the Asbury Eagles. Big Al got an early two hand jam for the Foresters but CJ Penny answered with an easy three. From there it was a back and forth battle but HU ends up heading into the locker rooms down 35-44 the second, Daniel Wall got his team rolling, stealing the ball and in for the two. Once again, we saw the aggressiveness by Peterson, but he ends up getting a bloody lip and has to leave the game. His understudy, Trevor Lockwood, had no problem stepping up as he would play a pivotal role for the Foresters. Then, almost like clockwork, we saw the CC3 takeover as Drew Benedict and Derek Heinen sunk energizing threes against their poor three-point percentage. Then, with 48 seconds left, the one face one wonder Kyle Pippinger found something to smile about sinking a timely three from the right side. After that it was almost like Asbury gave up as CJ Penny committed the technical foul and Heinen puts the nails into the coffin hitting his free shots. Coach Platt gave praise to his opponents as well as his players after the game saying there was nothing but heart left on the court and appreciate his team's second half effort got to take advantage of each game of trying to get better to prepare for the Crossroads League like I told you last night. I thought in the second half we did that today. As the Foresters earn the right to call themselves Nest Bros champions, Daniel Wall would finish with 24 points whereas the general Derek Cunning got 25 and the title of tournament MVP. The men will be back in action Tuesday night inside Platt Arena with the ladies hosting their tournament next weekend. For FDN Sports, I'm Victor McGrady. Oh, 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 oh,